Hello and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a little bit different, but it is still based on kind of like food. So today I'll be sharing with you my favorite, absolute favorite kitchen cleaning supplies. So if you'd like to see some of my favorites, then please keep on watching. Just so you know, I do upload a daily video here on this channel. It's all about budget food um, and could be some kitchen supplies as well. So anyway, Make sure that you subscribe, turn on the notification bell, turn on to all, so that way you are notified when I upload, which is daily. Okay, so, um, if you love to cook like I do, you know your kitchen can get very dirty very quickly, whether it's dishes, splatters, stuff like that. So I wanted to share some of my favorite um, kitchen cleaning supplies. So, very first thing is the Dawn Ultra Platinum dish soap. Oh my goodness gracious. We do not have a dishwasher these are the dishwasher um, and I will always usually buy whatever um, dish liquid is on dish liquid that is on sale um, Kroger has a really good um, good uh, kind of store brand of Dawn but my friend got me turned on to the Dawn Platinum you can get a small like bottle of it at the Dollar Tree if you want to try it out first but this was like five dollars but the thing is you need the smallest amount. It has more, four times more grease cleaning power. Okay, what I like about it is I'm the type of person and I like to soak dishes. So what I'll do is I'll go and rinse all the dishes and then I'll make soap water and put everything in there. And then my fat behind gets sucked into RuPaul's Drag, drag Race or a YouTube video or I go and take a bath. And a lot of times as dishwater sits, it, the suds get lower and lower and it loses the sudsiness of it. This stuff, it will stay sudsy for a very long time and you need the smallest amount and it really does clean your dishes very well. Um, just the smallest amount and you'll get a sink full of suds that really helps to degrease. I mean, this stuff will even take grease off of plasticware, which is amazing. So yes, the Dawn um, Ultra Platinum is absolutely amazing. And I will continue to buy this. It is awesome and it just lasts a really, really long time. Cannot recommend this enough. I will link whatever I can find down below. It will be an Amazon affiliate link. You're welcome to use it, but you do not have to, but I do recommend this. Go to Dollar Tree, get a sample bottle, like a little sample size first if you're not sure. But uh, I think once you try it, you'll never go back to other dish liquid. So this is awesome. Um, speaking of dishes, so I wanted to share with you my favorite dishcloth. So. I have a little pack of these. So this is a brand new one. It's my last brand new one, but it has this net scrubby side, and then it just has a regular like washcloth, dishcloth side. Sorry, it's a dishcloth, but yeah. So it has like just the regular dishcloth side and then the scrubby side. Um, the material for the scrubby side is kind of like those plastic pot scrubbers, okay? Um, not like the, it's like the nylon ones. That's totally what this is. These are Asha awesome dishcloths. So um, sometimes there's splatter on the stove top or whatever, whatever, and I just go ahead and use this side and it will scrub up um, off of the stove top, the counters, just amazingly. Same thing with stuck on food on dishes. There's some things that you make, whether you know it's on your plate or your um, pot and pan, and it just is hard to get off. Well, with this, it's so, it's not so abrasive that it's going to scratch like um, aluminum pans or anything, but it's just such a great dishcloth. So yeah, I do recommend if you can find the double-sided ones, ones with the regular dishcloth side and the one with the scrubby side, get it. They are amazing. And I've had these for, oh gosh, almost, th yeah, three years. And uh, they last a very, very long time. I probably need to restock, but these are amazing. Cannot recommend them enough. Okay, so next I have one of my favorite things to wipe down my counters with. Um, I'm not, I'm, I'm not, I wouldn't say that I'm a germaphobe because I'm not, but I am very, I'm very aware of germs in the household and everything like that. So I do like to disinfect kitchen, bathroom, hard surfaces, stuff like that. So um, the Lysol um, disinfecting wipes. Um, these are amazing. I love the Lysol ones. Um, I haven't tried the Clorox ones. I do have some Clorox um, wipes underneath my sink that I need to try, but the Lysol ones are my favorite. There are some things that are worth splurging on, and the Lysol, to me, is way better than the store brand. These just seem thicker, and they just, I can do more counter space with these. Um, I love disinfecting, especially after handling 
raw meat, you always need to make sure you're disinfecting um, your whatever kind of surface it might have come in contact with. So yes, Lysol wipes are a definite must have and sometimes you can even find them on sale. So yeah, you know, even for like, this is 80 wipes, it's less than $5. They're definitely worth it. So I do recommend the Lysol wipes. Um, like I said, they're thicker and you actually have to use less than the store brand. So um, to me, I will buy Lysol instead of store brand. But these are awesome, absolutely love them. And they come in a lot of different scents. This just happens to be a uh, basil and berry. Um, and they're they're fine. I think that's why they were on sales because they were a limited edition summer scent, but they're great. I do really, really love these. Okay, so I don't know if it's on in frame. I don't think it is, but I have a Swiffer Wet Jet. Okay, so I can't put all of it into frame, but it's sitting right here. But um, anyway, Swiffer Wet Jet. Um, I think this is absolutely amazing. We have a very small kitchen. We don't have much tile linoleum whatever and for us um, this is just easy to store I do like like the sponge mops and stuff but they can get smelly and gross and no storage space so I do like the Swiffer wet jet so um, you can get um, the little contraption thingy and then it, it can also it, you need to buy the like the liquid and it kind of pops in but once you buy the contraption the stick you don't need to rebuy it what you do need to rebuy is the little cartridge with the cleaning fluid sorry dust everywhere and then the uh, the little pads um, these are actually really affordable um, and you can just totally just pop it on and then mop it's really really nice I need to buy backups of both um, the cleaning liquid and the pads but I still got like three left they are great it's just really easy. I put the cats away because, you know, you don't want their little paws on the liquid. But yeah, you just sweep and then s press the little button on the stick and it sprays out the liquid. And these are really nice because they actually have a little scrubber. So this is what the pad looks like, okay? And then it's, um, there's like Velcro on the bottom and you just pop it on. And yeah, there's like scrubby. So it really does kind of scrub away and kind of stuck on anything that's on your floor. These are great. Um, it's really, really convenient and the storage space is very nice. I can just pop this right behind um, a door and it's thin and it's a low profile and then the little pads go underneath my kitchen sink. But so for wet jet, way to go. And then my last item is, I don't try to use these very often, but Sometimes you need paper towels, whether you're doing some cleaning up or if you made bacon and you need something to drink, whatever, okay? So, this is the Kroger Home Scents. These are these, uh, the huge thing of paper towels. So, you end up getting 10 rolls of uh, the two-ply and you can like choose the sheet, so it's kind of like the bounty choose a, choose a size. Anyway, this is 10 bucks. It's huge. The paper towels themselves are very, very nice. Nice and thick and quilted, so, okay. Very, very nice paper towels. I don't splurge on the name brand paper products just because the store brands are just as good. So, yeah, if you do use paper towels, this will probably last us, this pack will probably last us almost a year because we don't use paper towels that often. I use dish rags and dishcloths and stuff like that to wipe counters and stuff. It's just more eco-friendly and paper towels can be expensive so um, but if you do use paper towels definitely check out your store brands they are very very comparable to name brand I actually think these are better than Bounty for some reason Bounty or is it Sparkle one of those brands has a weird smell to it when it gets wet it, it smells weird um, has anyone else noticed that that there's like an odor when uh, some brands of paper towels get wet or damp, like when you're using them, these don't have any kind of odor. I think it's sparkle. Sparkle paper towels smell weird when they get wet. These have absolutely no type of odor. They're super absorbent and very, very affordable. You get 10 rolls for 10 bucks and they are like a nice, my mom, this is what she taught me. I don't know if anyone else is, but you squeeze the roll of toilet paper or paper towel if it gets goes in super, like if it's super squishy and like, you can like press in really good. Don't get them because there's not that many on the roll. It's not a good ply. So these are nice and firm. I don't know. Maybe I'm the only one that 
knows about that. Anyway, but yeah, the uh, Kroger Home Sense uh, paper towels, they are awesome. But anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed this little bit of a different type of video. If you did, please let me know down below in the comments. I would love to do some of my not favorite kitchen supplies um, because I think that would be good to know as well. But let me know down below in the comments if you did enjoy this video, if, if, if you found it helpful. Um, go ahead and share this video and give it a thumbs up. Not only does it show you're enjoying my content, but it gets the word out some really awesome products. So, and uh, don't forget, you're always welcome to follow me on my other social media, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. It's all at Budget Glam, babe. Don't go anywhere quite yet. I should have another video that to start autoplaying here very shortly, or you can always click on one of the ones that'll be popping up around the screen. So yeah, I'll see you here in just a sec.